Welcome to Angels in the Glen. In the Daniel 5 study, we're going to learn about God's judgment on literal, physical, ancient Babylon. All right, we're going to study about what happens the night that Babylon falls to the Medo-Persian Empire. Because the king is holding a great feast for thousands of his nobles, and they are, they are under the heavy influence of wine. And suddenly, the fingers of a man's hand appear and starts writing on the wall opposite the lampstand in front of the king's presence. Now, the king doesn't understand what the writings is, and neither do his nobles. In fact, no one can understand it. The only one that can interpret what is written on the wall is Daniel. Daniel is no longer a youth. He's closer to 80 years old, and he's the only one that can interpret the writing on the wall. Now, the Babylonian king, Belshazzar, and his nobles do something highly provocative against the God of the Most High. And what they do precipitates or precedes or brings about the fall of Babylon. And they do something that King Nebuchadnezzar never did. And that's what we want you to understand in this story, because what they do brings about the fall of Babylon. Because what they do in literal, physical, ancient, geographic Babylon brings their downfall and their destruction. And that will be the same highly provocative thing that end time spiritual worldwide Babylon is going to do on a global scale. They'll do something that's highly provocative. Now, we're going to make 10 comparisons between ancient, literal, physical, geographic Babylon with end time spiritual Babylon so you understand a framework of what's going on. You can watch the full lesson at the link below. Go to angelsintheglen.org. That's angelsintheglen.org. We have study guides. This is two parts to this particular lesson. And this is not just one, one lesson. This is a series of lessons that will take you through the entire book of Daniel and key chapters in Revelation because God wants his people ready to understand the events that must take place before Christ returns. We want you to understand the first angel's message, the second angel's message, the third angel's message, which is the sternest warning in the Bible about not taking the mark of the beast because the world is soon going to be engulfed in the mark of the beast struggle. It's not a time to fear, it's a time to be ready. God wants his people ready for Christ's soon return. I hope you'll join us.